So if you've been around the past couple of weeks, you might already know that a while ago I did a massive declutter of all of my clothing and it was a lot of stuff. I'll link the little video up here. If you click this thing, you can watch the video if you wanna watch that. But the reason that I'm mentioning this video is that it left me with this whole bag of things. Now what's in the mystery bag, you might ask? Basically, this is the bag of things that I really like, but I find myself not really reaching for because of the color. If you've been around for a while, you know that when it comes to the colors that I gravitate towards and that I wear, I can be a little bit picky. I've just gotten to the point where if there's a color that's outside of my seasonal color analysis, I'm just at the point where I feel like it doesn't really vibe with me, so then I never really pick it out, and then these things just don't get worn. But I don't want to sell them or donate them because I actually really like them, it's just the color. It's not doing it for me. And another reason I don't really want to get rid of them is because the things in this bag are either pretty unique, like they're embroidered or they're like just really pretty, or they're a lovely, lovely material. There's a lot of silk in this bag and I have a hard time getting rid of silk because it's just so beautiful. But I don't know if you know this, but you can't bleach silk because it actually will ruin it, ruin the fibers, unlike cotton, which you can bleach and it's not a really big deal. If you bleach silk, and if you bleach wool, I think too, it kind of just destroys the clothing. So I was trying to find a way to change the color or remove the color from silks and rayons and all the materials that, you know, bleach kind of damages. And I found this stuff. Rit Color Remover. And basically it says that it works on cotton, linen, wool, rayon, and rami, which is another natural fiber, I think. So today we're gonna choose some things out of this bag and we're gonna test out this Rit Color Remover. Okay, where do we start? I think we should start with these. So these are a pair of silk pants that I thrifted. I think they're vintage, because the tag looks pretty vintage, VIP petites. They're 100% silk, and I like the fit of them, and I like the feel of them. It's just this color. And it's a nice color, don't get me wrong, and honestly, like, I don't even think this is a color that necessarily looks bad on me. I think it's a very similar blue to the blue that actually is in the soft autumn seasonal color analysis, but I just never really reach for them. I just don't think that I have a very blue vibe. So these are definitely a good candidate, because I know for sure that I would wear them more, much, much more, if they weren't blue. Next, this one's pretty simple, and honestly, I could bleach it if I wanted to. But if we've already got this stuff going, I might as well try. It's just this tank top that I thrifted. Originally, it's from Brandy Melville. I don't even know what it's made out of because I cropped it, as I do with literally all my tank tops. And I just really like the fit of it, but I would just rather it not be gray. Gray's another one of those colors that I just, I don't vibe with. And okay, here's another one that I actually bought, tried bleaching it, and it came out this color. Originally, it was like a dark rusty kind of color. So do I kind of regret bleaching it because it turned like neon orange a little bit, maybe? But the original rust color was kind of dark and washed me out. So we've got her as well. And this one does say that it is 100% rayon. So hopefully the color remover works on this too. But okay, why don't we start with these three? Put the rest of the things in the bag and either save them for later or save them for another day. And let's go set up our science experiment. Before I go and dye anything, I guess I should show you. This is the top, gray. These are the bottoms. Let me put on the dress. Okay, and here is the dress. Very, very orange. Okay, so I've changed into my dyeing clothes. And please excuse my kitchen because uh, dishes are a later task. We're not doing that today. But at the thrift store the other day, I got this nice big cauldron because I feel like you probably don't want to use a pot that you're going to be cooking things in to use chemicals and bleaching agents. So anyhow, let's put some water in the pot. So I filled it up that much, maybe like a little over halfway. Okay, so we're just heating up the water. I've got the fan on and I also grabbed this little fan of mine and have it facing out the window because apparently this stuff smells pretty strong. So excuse me if all you can hear is fans in the background. I watched a video online and it said to heat the water up without boiling it. And I think once the water is hot but not boiling, 
then we can put in the color remover and then once I put the color remover in then I can put the clothing in until it gets to like the desired color I guess I'm excited to see what happens but I will be back when the water is hot enough and we'll put this in together look at this I just found instructions on the inside of the box and it said the water should be above 200 degrees Fahrenheit let's go check the water okay okay we're gonna do it first let's do the dress I guess I might as well do the shirt at the same time I'm gonna take the shirt out and see if I accidentally just turn it yellow by putting it in with this dress Okay, so the color of the dress hasn't changed in a while, so I'm going to take it out and put it into my bucket. Okay, so my camera just died, which means you didn't see me do what I just did. But I basically threw my things from the stovetop into my garbage can that I had filled with water, and they're now just chilling in the bathtub, and I need to clean them or soap them down. And then I decided, because I have this pair of black old Levi's, that I had laying around and I never wear them because they're black and I don't really like black and I'm like how cool would it be to put them in here because maybe it'll turn them brown and I think it is actually kind of turning them brown so we will see I'm gonna keep mixing that around I'm gonna wash things in the bathtub and I will be back when all that is over okay so the water after that last batch was pretty dark so we're gonna do another round for my silk pants and we're gonna try and make it a little colder just cause I know that hot water can kind of ruin silk, so. Okay, so this time I only have the water to like 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so we've discovered that the remover it actually doesn't work until it gets to the higher temperature, so we brought it to a higher temperature and we'll see how it affects the silk fabric. But all the color is like basically gone. So that's pretty cool. Alright, well everything has now been washed and dried, so let me show you the final results, the final color results, after using the RIT Color Remover Powder Stuff. Let's maybe start with the ones that worked the least, and they were the black Levi's that I got, and I honestly feel like these probably didn't work as well as I thought they would, because I used them after two items, so I wonder if there wasn't any more like color remover power left. They've been sitting out in the sun for a while, so they honestly are a little bit lighter, and like I had said, I had bleached them previously. So they're a lighter-ish color, but I might go ahead and try the right color remover again on these, because I would like them to be lighter, and then once they get Lighter, I might end up dyeing them brown. Next are the silk pants that used to be blue and I am so impressed by these and actually so excited because I love the color that they turned out. Obviously it's just like a creamy color. It still obviously has the blue detailing so the zippers and the thread is still blue but even using the right color remover with a high temperature in the water didn't end up ruining the fabric so I'm super happy about these and I have a feeling I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of these. Next is the shirt. Um, it looks green because I tried putting it in some right color remover that had blue in it and that's just another mistake. So something that I've learned from using the right color remover is don't put more than one item together if they're not the same color because they'll end up dyeing each other. So next time I do a right color remover bath, I'm going to have to add this in because it's not really my kind of green, but I have faith that this green will come out and hopefully be like an off-white color eventually. And finally, we've got the dress. For whatever reason, it looked like the right color remover was only able to remove the red in the dress, 
and not the yellow. And I feel like I don't mind the yellow, but I might end up trying to dye it maybe like a rusty color or maybe a green color because I feel like I could get there with a the yellow base. But overall, I'm pretty happy with the results. I don't know that I would necessarily use Rit Color Remover over bleach if I'm bleaching something that has a material that can handle the harshness of bleach. Like if I was trying to change the color of something that was cotton or anything a little more heavy duty, I'd probably just still use bleach because bleach is less expensive than the Rit Color Remover. But for materials like silks, I think it works really great. So I'm very glad that I find it. I hope this video was useful or at least that it was fun. But anyhow, now that that's all over, here are a couple of videos the YouTube algorithm thinks you would enjoy. Thank you as always for spending this little chunk of your day with me here in our little corner of the internet. I hope this video finds you well. I hope you're taking care of yourself and I will see you in the next one.